the types of stresses majorly divide into two one is tensile stress another one is compressive stress see now let us assume this is the body right so now when a cross section is subjected to two equal and opposite pulls two equal and opposite pulls and the body tends to increase now the body tends to increase the length increase the length after applying this two equal pulling forces the body subjected to tensile forces right so automatically the body tends to increase the length then that stress induced is called tensile stress right the corresponding strain is called tensile strain right similarly instead of applying the two pulling forces now apply two equal pushing force right see whenever the section is subjected to equal and opposite pushes then the body automatically tends to shorten its length and increase the cross section right instead of previous length now the length reduces see this is the original length and now this is the new length del l change in change in length right see in this case this is the original length and this is the final length after applying the load this is called as del l change in length right due to this tensile stresses automatically the length increases and cross section layer decreases whereas for compressive stress the the length decreases whereas in the in the um, the cross sectional area increases right the cross sectional area of the body gets increased so the corresponding strain is called as compressive strain right the next one is elastic limit so elastic limit is nothing but the value of intensity of stress corresponding to this limiting force is called the elastic limit of the body right see the maximum stress a material can withstand before the permanent deformation occurs right so that is that is very important it is the materials highest limit before the materials plastic deformation can occur right so beyond the elastic limit the material gets into plastic limit so this is the graph between deflection or extension versus load see the load increases the extension increases at particular limit at or particular point beyond this particular point the material gets into plastic deformation so this region is called elastic limit the point at which the point at which the maximum stress a material can withstand that point is called as elastic limit beyond this elastic limit which is called a plastic stage of the material right then the next topic is hooke's law hooke's law hooke's law it states that the stress is directly proportional to the strain within the elastic limit right this one is very very important the stress is directly proportional to strain within the proportional limit this is the exact definition or exact statement of hooke's law the stress is always directly proportional to strain within the proportional limit this is my first choice and this is my second choice right the stress is directly proportional to strain within the proportional limit and the stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit so proportional limit is the exact answer right see the statement says when a material is loaded with within its proportional limit then the stress is proportional to strain see this is this is the graph between the stress strain curve of the mild steel see this is the point at which the proportional limit right so up to this proportional limit the stress increases and the strain is also increases so the stress is directly proportional to strain up to the proportional limit right it is a constant which determine the deformation produced by a given stress system acting on the material see what is the purpose of elastic constant the elastic constants are used to determine the engineering strain theoretically and they are used to obtain the relationship between the engineering stress and engineering strain right now the types of elastic constants see young's molars are 
modulus of elasticity denoted by E this is also one of the constant and shear modulus or modulus of rigidity denoted by G this is also one of the elastic constant and bulk modulus K and Poisson ratio denoted by mu. So, these four constants are comes under the elastic constants and the relationship between elastic constants. So, these three relations you will keep you will keep it into mind. So, we will discuss further. So, E which is equal to 2 g into 1 plus mu and E which is equal to 3 k into 1 minus 2 mu and minus E which is equal to 9 k g divided by g plus 3 k. So, now modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus. So, what is meant by modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus? The another name of modulus of elasticity is called as Young's modulus denoted by E. Right. So, as per the Hooke's law, we know that Hooke's law, what is Hooke's law? Stress is directly proportional to strain, right. So, as per the Hooke's law, the stress is directly proportional to strain for the small deformation, right. So, mathematically Hooke's law is expressed by sigma stress is directly proportional to strain. We know that E which is equal to modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus elasticity constant. In order to remove this proportionality, we have to or we have to add Young's modulus into strain, right. So, now Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity E which is equal to sigma divided by strain, right. So, this is the formula Young's modulus which is equal to stress divided by strain, okay.